In this video I'm going to talk about the Google map element. Now if you don't know uh, what it looks like or uh, you want to see a preview just go to elements Google map and you can see here uh, this is an example of a Google map included into a column of uh, into a block of uh, 12 column in size. Uh, you can see this for example is full width uh, it's uh, placed inside the I think it's actually placed outside the uh, fence uh, the uh, section uh, element it's just placed into the canvas directly anyway um, if you uh, notice we have here a, a bubble box with a short message and a call to action button if you click here uh, you can set any link uh, you want here you can use this um, uh, get directions uh, uh, nice little box then you can also have uh, this uh, nice uh, toggle show and hide the panel where you can add uh, your uh, your company details I think we ha already have one into the Kronos page which it's a bit more uh, practically used practically used yeah so uh, as you can see the style is different I'm going to later explain you how and you can click the image you probably want the office of your uh, of your company so let's uh, just edit the page with the uh, page builder and as you probably noticed we already have uh, three uh, map points probably you want to I don't know to have uh, multiple uh, pins on the map so uh, the element does provide this uh, feature so as you can see here uh, you can add your map locations now you can see these three here and these three here if I edit this uh, this uh, uh, location you can find the marker latitude and a longitude you can also specify a tooltip and an icon perhaps you want I don't know uh, nicer or uh, cuter uh, design great so you can also specify the marker animation uh, this is basically an entrance uh, effect let's say bounce and you can also specify the size of the marker icon now as you can see all these values are uh, basically um, they're basically equal so uh, you have uh, I think there are seven yeah seven uh, sizes but each one has uh, uh, equal uh, width and height so it's it would be best if you change the mapping to have it uh, the square and respecting this uh, these uh, uh, values right here and also make sure the um, the point where it points into the map is right here it's 100 from the uh, top and 50% from the left good so I'm going to close this as you can see the animation has a change here for these two it just literally dropped and for this one as you can see it has this uh, bounce uh, effect good so we're going we have this uh, oh sorry I just wanted to specify something if you want to uh, find um, your 
latitude or longitude just go to Google and just search for Google Maps longitude latitude and you can find plenty of resources where you can uh, get it now I remember this website giving you uh, the exact uh, coordinates so if you're searching I don't know for Tenerife it should give you the coordinates now let's say if I change right here they are updating so you can use this latlong.net uh, website to find find your uh, coordinates great so moving forward um, you can specify the zoom level of the map one is not recommended 23 is too much so that's about it um, the map type you can specify I'm not sure I think you're familiar with the Google map and you know it's uh, it's types of um, of uh, maps so if I choose a satellite it will look uh, just like from a satellite if if I choose a hybrid yeah if I choose a hybrid you can see it's also have it it does have these um, illustrated uh, illustrations but also uh, has this uh, satellite uh, view so uh, moving forward we have um, if you want to add the uh, direction box as you seen right here and you can change this text of course you can have a, an overview map option let me try something These are basically options if you want to uh, have more uh, more controls onto the the uh, maps. As you can see, the map map type and the map zooming. the street maps right here you can just drag it as you can see what's blue is uh, is uh, available great so I'm going to leave them enabled uh, we have the info bubble so we have uh, either an info box or an info panel now info box it's this panel right here while the uh, info panel is this one right here like I said you can uh, toggle its view it will hide the content text I don't know you if you want don't add it but it's nice to have especially if you have uh, an address or something like this so it's uh, it's nice to to have you can also, as I as I said you can change the text and the title if you change to info box you will see uh, this text the let me just edit this one As you can see info box is selected the main text the button link text and the button link good so uh, I will 
access back this one styling options now this one is a bit uh, irrelevant because uh, it won't you can cannot see the background in this example we just uh, left it there because uh, we wanted to maintain a backward backwards co uh, compatibility with older versions and we didn't really want it to remove the option but instead to make it uh, deprecated but probably in the future we'll uh, just uh, simply remove it now you can have the uh, back, uh, bottom uh, mask override you can specify here as you can see uh, this pointing uh, shape it has been added that is the uh, bottom mask then we can have the full screen if you want to have it like uh, full screen but you have to make sure it's uh, not um, the scrolling the wheel scrolling uh, option is disabled because if you scroll down you will just uh, zoom in and zoom out the maps so you can uh, uh, change the map uh, height too and you can actually add uh, custom style so as you can see this uh, this style is a bit more uh, unconventional so if you want to see more styles just go to snazzymaps.com and you can find here uh, plenty of them they are uh, handcrafted and uh, they're actually very cool so uh, I really encourage you to use them so just you just have to go here sorry check it out and you have to copy this uh, code right here it's actually a JavaScript style array and just select all this and paste here that's about it you can also uh, have a, an active uh, map style again you should paste it here and when the pop-up is uh, visible so this option like I said do not use it if uh, you have uh, uh, the maps uh, as full screen because when you scroll it will actually just uh, zoom in and zoom out so they're locked users are locked into this uh, view with only the maps to zoom in and zoom out good so um, you can also specify here the map lo localization uh, and by default browser language is uh, selected so no worries about that so basically this is the uh, Google map uh, element make sure you proper, properly add uh, the, the coordinates and just have a play with the options here and that should be that should be it you can add as many as you want as many map locations I'm worrying if I skipped something or I haven't explained well well if I did uh, I'm sorry for that just uh, drop me uh, drop me a message and I will uh, I will uh, try to help you a bit uh, more so thanks for watching see you in the next one thanks Bye.